General Floor, thank you for agreeing to meet with us today. Ah, yes, you are most welcome. Giving you a chance to beg and plead for mercy before we destroy your planet is my favorite part of the job. No, please! Don't destroy us! We don't deserve this! <laughs> the looks on their faces. It's a hoot. Uh, perhaps we should start out by introducing ourselves. Uh, I'm Chief of Space Operations, General Foreman. Uh, he, him. Under Secretary of State, Angus Miller. He, him. Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer, Amanda Williams, she, her. And what exactly is a Chief Diversity and Inclusion Officer? It's my job to be a black woman. Well, good job, then. And what is this, this he, him, she, her, of which you are all speaking? Those are our gender pronouns, so you know which gender we identify as. Ah, uh, I appreciate that, but I am pretty good at telling the difference between the two genders. A man, man, woman. Hmm. Nailed it. That was a lucky guess. But there are way more than just two genders. Fascinating. We've been probing humans for years, and we have only discovered the two. Uh, how many uh, genders are there? 172. It's hard to know, really. It's changing all the time. So, your species is evolving that rapidly. Remarkable. Uh, perhaps while you are sitting here, you will grow additional limbs or develop the ability to breathe underwater. Um, no, that's not what we meant. It's too bad. I breathe underwater. It's a lot of fun. If you threw 20 pennies into a pool, I could dive down and pick them all up without ever once resurfacing. Boom! What, no applause? So, what are these genders, and how do they function? Function? I don't understand. Why, yes. On uh, my planet, uh, the female gender is the giver of life, raising and nurturing our young, preserving our civilization for eons to come, while the males mostly just mow our space lawns and make multiple trips to Space Home Depot. What you are talking about is sex. Gender is something different. Exactly. People can identify with genders different than their natal sex or with none at all. But why? It's... It's just the way we feel. No! It was the way we were born. Well, of course, a lot of times they don't realize how they were born until someone tells them. Someone like a teacher or social media influencer. And uh, what exactly are these various genders? You, you, you have me very curious. Well, there's non-binary, which is someone who identifies as both genders. Doesn't saying identifies both genders imply that there are only two genders? Was it? No. No, it's... <laughs> shut up. Actually, it's genderqueer that is the term that refers to people who identify as both genders. You know, like my nephew. I thought that was gender fluid, like my niece. No, no, that shifts around. No, bigender gender shifts around, like my stepson. Well, it can. Well, oh, unless you're Native American, in which case it's two-spirit. Like my cousin, who got into Harvard because they's one-sixteenth Native American. Oh, I understand. On this planet, there are people who are men, and people who are women, and people who are mentally ill. <laughs> I can understand that it's confusing. It can be difficult to keep track of all the different genders. There's so many of them. You, there's, there's gender vague, there's gray gender, demi gender, oddy gender, uh, omni gender, poly gender, and about 10 different kinds of trans. And those are just the ones that my nephew has identified as in the last month. When I was there's also bi gender, which is two genders, those genders being male and female, or a combination of all genders, including a gender, which is no gender at all. So space you can actually simultaneously be no gender at all plus a gender. It's pretty cool, huh? The planet has no sign of intelligent life. Official recommendation, destroy. No, please don't destroy us! We don't deserve this! We... Well, there's, there's that look. Well, sorry. I've got to say, I still can't wrap my head around this gender theory concept. Allow us to help you. I'm going to show you a highly classified document. It's the new Babylon Bee book, the Babylon Bee Guide to Gender. 
it actually helps you choose your gender, it gives you all kinds of ideas for your different pronouns or gender flags, and it educates you on all 437 genders. And they got stick figures. They're, they're pretty cute. It, it all makes so much sense now. Thank you, Babylon B. So, uh... Does this mean you're not going to destroy us? Yeah. Oh, not a chance. <laughs> oh.